What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we'll be talking about Nightmare on Elm Street in this video here today. So Nightmare on Elm Street seems to have a legacy sequel, a requel if you will, on the way from Blumhouse. It's apparently in development and they've been working on it some time, for some time now, according to the V Scooper. I'm going to start off my video firstly though by talking about the rumors about Nightmare on Elm Street and the bid that was going on for quite some time and share what I knew and frame it to how it seems to make this also more credible let alone considering the fact that the v scooper does have some credibility as you scroll through their twitter profile so what i knew regarding nightmare on elm street and a potential revival legacy sequel if you will that would be on the way was from someone else who was involved in this bid with other com other com other companies like Paramount apparently was one Blumhouse of course Blumhouse got seems to have gotten the rights and then their company but they never specified who their company was so what was going on is that if this company the anonymous one that I never got told who they were if this company had gotten the rights they were planning to do a modern take on Freddy's Revenge Nightmare on Elm Street 2 they were going to do a completely new story that would bring in a new male lead rather than a traditional final girl. And they were hoping to have a female director. Heather Langenkamp and Robert England would have been offered roles, but Freddie himself would have been recast. They would have just had Robert involved in the casting process with helping them find a new Freddie. Now, again, they didn't specify what studio they were with, but it would have just been a modern take on Freddie's revenge and Freddie would have had a gloved arm instead of a glove on his hand. Kind of seemed to be mechanical in a way from my notes that I have here. Which, if they were going to explore that, this does sound... It did sound promising to me. I don't know if it sounds promising to you guys as far as like getting a modern take on Freddie's Revenge. But that's what this company would have done. They didn't seem to win this though. The bid apparently ended in June. Because I've been getting told stuff as as soon as late last year around December, working its way through the summer. So they didn't get the rights to this. They've gone completely silent, AWOL. And then the V Scooper puts out this bit of information saying that Blumhouse has been secretly working on making a requel of the first entry of this saga. This revival is a high priority and they pointed out that they don't have a date on this yet, but we shouldn't expect it to be so far away. And then they also chimed in to, to discuss some other expectation that could go into this. The idea is that England will return or that England returns, but also they heard a proposal to make Freddy CGI, but with his voice. And here's the thing. I would rather you keep Robert than do that and just have Robert participate via his voice. That seems like a waste. Even if anything, don't even bother doing that. I actually would rather you recast Robert. But again, Jason Blum has stated he is confident he could convince Robert to return. Now, I'm not against us getting a worthy performance out of Robert. If Robert is able to pull it out, pull it out and deliver an amazing performance as Freddy, I won't be against that. Hell, what we could actually end up be doing is looking at a story that tells many different variations of what people perceive as Freddy Krueger and you could have probably different actors in the role as the dream demon maybe that's what's about to happen and it's going to serve as a legacy sequel to that original movie because of how the story of Freddy has just grown people don't immediately envision him as Robert England's Kruger. You could see people dream about different things with Kruger and he could take it on. Similar to what they did with Candyman in a lot of ways. That's just one possibility I just started thinking of thinking of randomly. But in terms of what I was told, I think I would have preferred to see a modern take on Freddy's Revenge. Uh Blumhouse getting the rights to it. I believe that is the case. Again, going off of the V Scoopers credibility and because of the fact that I was told that Blumhouse was involved in the bidding. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't win because Blumhouse, knowing what I know about the Exorcist Believer, I'm not excited about that. Knowing how they ended their Halloween trilogy, I'm not excited for anything that they have to offer when it comes to obtaining these legacy ips or pertaining or pertaining to them obtaining these classic horror ips and doing legacy sequels to them because they just seem to go off of the rails if they start off promising i mean that's the case with halloween halloween ends again i liked it but in comparison to the 2018 film it's off the rails so with them taking this approach and then hearing that they allegedly want to do cgi perhaps 
that's already a bad taste in my mouth. I would have rather this other company that allegedly wanted to do a story on a modern take of Jesse with a female director with Heather and Robert involved and then replacing and recasting for it. I would have rather seen how that would have turned out because I'm scared that with this revival, as good as it could turn out, I'm scared that Blumhouse is going to crank out some more crap in the name of bringing back a IP that everyone was eager to see. But then when they put it out, they're going to like, oh, we didn't want this from you. What is this? <laughs> but you guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.